So let me clear up something about this podcast. Th- this podcast is not about fixing your child. So please don't think of anything I say as trying to fix your child. The reason I think this is important to cover early on is that many parents are, are stuck in one of two dualities. So there's the camp where they do everything they can. They try, you know, diets, supplements, uh, you know, every testing in order to do as much as possible, you know, to reduce the autism. And then on the other side are the parents that are completely, they do nothing because, you know, this is, there's nothing to, to, to fix. Um, and, you know, this is, they accept that, that that is their child. And I think in both cases, everyone's opinion and, and beliefs need to be respected. Uh, what I would say is that while we're not trying to fix your child, quote unquote, let, let me break it down and put it in simpler terms. If your child had the flu or an injury, would you do something about it? And of course, the answer is yes, you would. So what I'm going to teach you with the podcast is that the research shows that there's a high likelihood that any given autistic child is suffering from one or more metabolic challenges or health challenges. So the problem there is that many of these health challenges are hidden to the parents and very often to the doctors. Unless you do specialized testing, unless you know what to look for, these health challenges are hidden, right? So they're undermining the kid's health. They're undermining... um, their their physical health but that has repercussions on their their brain their mental health their sleep and and it affects their behavior so what i'm going to teach you is how to address find identify and address the hidden health challenges that your child may be experiencing and address them so that not only does their health improve but there's a there's a high likelihood that just their in general their brain will function better their behavior everything will be in in much more harmony as the way you know they were designed to be like a human should be so there's nothing to fix right there's i think you know uh, trying to cure autism and things like that i think that's that's probably a very chasing that as a goal is probably can lead to a lot of internal stress and turmoil. But on the other hand, I think complete acceptance is is not acknowledging the fact that these kids, autistic kids, suffer from a multitude of health problems. And the, I will be talking at length about the research that shows this. So, to sum up, accept autism. Do not accept an unhealthy child. Do something about it. And we, we know what to do about it. I will show you how to investigate things like gut dysfunction, gut infections, yeast overgrowth, nutrient deficiencies, nutrient imbalances, um, heavy metal toxicity, and so on and so forth. I will show you how to, how to investigate those things, how to address them with your practitioner. And actually, at the end of the day, you're going to have a much healthier child and Again, you will, as I mentioned in the, in the first episode, you are going to reap the benefits because the healthier your child is, the better you, you know, the happier you will be, the better your state of mind will be. So this is what I'm going to be teaching you. We're not trying to fix your child. There's nothing to fix. However, I'm going to te- teach you how to uncover the hidden metabolic and health challenges that are likely to be undermining your child's health and you don't know about them. The doctor doesn't know about them because they're not yet taught. Most doctors are not yet taught to investigate them and do something about them. So this is what I wanted to just cover with this episode. Make sure we're on the same page. Thank you for listening.